Today, we're reviving an old design. It wasn't ever really dead, I just never really promoted it a lot. And I also didn't really like how the text fell on the t-shirt. It's actually this one I have on. This was a test print. It had this on the back with the snake and the never enough. I didn't like it, so I had originally reclaimed the screens for it and I didn't have them ready to do them anymore. But I went ahead and burnt the snake again. I was like, well, I have this snake. It'd be sick to actually make it look good. So that's what we did. We actually made it a puff print, not the snake, but the text is gonna be puff print. It's still gonna be red text. Changed up the font, you know, got the screens ready. We just gotta burn one more screen, which is the chest print. We're gonna have a little chest print right here. I don't have a dark room, but I do have a shitty Justin Bieber haircut. You know, old school Justin Bieber. I do have plans on getting it cut soon, but let's go dark. And that's where I store my screens. These are my unexposed screens. You can barely see them, but it looks like I have one, two, three, four that are ready to go and one big one. And I have a small one behind that one. I have two that I need to coat still, but I have a lot of screens in use right now. This one has the snake on it. This one has the dog on it. This one has the never enough text on it for the dog. And this one has a judgment print on it. This, un, this one underneath it has the black side to this judgment print if I print it on a gray t-shirt. And this one has the text for the chest on the never enough dog, the off-leash t-shirt. Well, let's go ahead and pull out one of these screens from here. Let's go ahead and expose it. Very narrow. All my inks are right there. I'm gonna do a, a shop tour eventually. I am actually waiting to do the shop tour because this is my roommate's bed and we're gonna move him upstairs and get everything up there. And once I have everything set up nicely, we'll do a shop tour. This is the transparency I'm gonna be using to print, to expose the screen. You can see through it, which sucks. I can't figure out how to get a dark transparency, but it'll just have to do for now. So I went ahead and did that off camera. It came out. It's not the cleanest stencil I've ever made, but it is definitely a stencil. I'm not too worried about a lot about the details on it because I'm gonna do a puff print and as long as there's enough ink getting deposited on there, a lot of the like sharp corners are gonna round out. So we'll just roll with it. One of my subscribers said that I should do a puff base and then print on top the color I want to do. But I don't have a lot of screens, so I think I'm just gonna have to do the old mixture way and figure it out from there because uh, I'm not a, you know, very, I don't have a lot of cash to be able to be buying screens and upgrading my equipment right now. So one day I will do it that way, just mixing a little bit of black ink with the red to make it a little bit darker. This, is, uh, this red is, it's dark, but it's quite bright. Hmm. Maybe I should have looked up what colors to mix because I am getting a brown. Maybe if I add more red into it, but. Yeah, it's a brown. <laughs> Uh, shit. Well, well, scratch that. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix the red in there because I don't know how to make red, apparently. Yeah, I don't know how to mix colors. I don't know why I thought I could do that. That was kind of silly of me. I'm gonna add probably 10 more grams. I don't know how much that is. Probably a lot more than 10 grams. Eh, a little bit more. Well, we're gonna go with 60. 60, oh, got that right on the nose. That's insane. 18, so I need to add 18 grams of puff in here.
Oh no, I got it all over the fucking... Ah. Okay. 91. So, 18 plus... <laughs> 60 is not 91. So, I definitely had like 40% in there by accident. I'm only going to be printing these for right now because I have that pop-up on Sunday. So I want to make sure I have a couple of these to see how people react to them. And I need to make one for myself as a large so I can like wear it and promote it and shit. So I have three largest, two XLs, and a medium, it looks like. I'm pretty sure I grabbed a two XL too, but I don't see it in between these. But it's not a big deal. I can always just go back up and get it. Two mediums, three larges, two XLs. That's what I have down here. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Starting off with a medium. The fancy original favorite blanks. This is the part that takes forever. I need to like partially cure the whole thing. I know that I have a flash, but it's gonna take a while to turn on. I might just have to wait for it to turn on because this is becoming too slow. No. That looks about good. I'll go ahead and plug it in after I'm done with this t-shirt and then I'll wait for it to heat up. Three passes total. Looks like it all cleared too. That's three passes right there as well. It all looks clean as hell. So now we just gotta keep pressing, keep pressing, keep got it. Okay, yeah, that took for fucking ever. So I'm gonna plug in the flash dryer. Let's print going. Passes. There is a pinhole right there. Nothing to worry about. Very nice. Okay, so we finally have the flash up and running. It's nice and super hot. I've printed two for short form. So hopefully you'll see these short forms soon, right after this video. But Let's go ahead and print the rest of these. I don't have that many left. Three more, four more, and we're done. This flash dryer has made everything run so much faster. The only thing is that, of course, I'm still relatively new to it, so I've burnt a couple shirts. 
not a couple, just one, but you know, it's gonna happen. So I can't be upset at myself for burning stuff by accident. Always check your hands before handling white t-shirts because it can be a nightmare. So now that we got that done, I have a couple of these Heather Gray hoodies left. I don't have any larges, but Got a couple mediums and an XL. We're gonna test it out on it. See how it comes out. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Nice. So we got everything printed. Everything's good to go now. Everything I wanted to print has been printed. Let's take a closer look at some of these because these came out very sick. I'm super happy with how these came out. So now there we have it. Here's that front piece. Very nice. It is puff print. And here's the back. I think it looks very cool. If you want to pick one of these up, they're available on the website. The link is in the description of the video. And also the Instagram is down there too. Make sure you go ahead and drop a follow because once we hit a thousand followers on there, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for something. I don't know yet, but we're going to be giving something away. That's pretty cool. See you guys next time. I don't know when that is, but probably Monday or Tuesday next week because I'm going to do a video on the pop-up, I think. Goodbye.